reason I'm playing Skyfall is because the next few minutes is very much themed around Bond. We've got Ken Mitchell with us again. Ken, lovely to have you here. Thank you. Um, and uh, you're here today to talk about a special concert that's happening this weekend where we may hear that song, I believe. Yes, you will hear that song uh, very much so, sung by the wonderful Christine Sutcliffe uh, in an arrangement that I did for band and vocalists uh, um, with Douglas Town Band at our Shake and Not Stirred concert. Do you know, I, I'm guessing that the Bond-themed songs must be some of the most fun ones to do with a town band. They, they certainly are. They're, they're not easy pieces to play, but great fun and big audience pleasers too. Absolutely. So this is on um, Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Yep. And where is it happening? It's at St Ninian's Church in that mm -hmm. wonderful venue there, which is not just a church. It's a great concert venue as well. Um, on Sunday, 7.30. Um, doors open at 7. And you mentioned Christine. It's not just Christine. You've got some other guests as well, haven't We've you? We've got uh, Mike Bonner, famous for early days singing in rock bands. But latterly, he's a big theatrical guy these days, music theatre. Um, I think he's in Hunchback coming up. Yes, so, that's right. He's got right, yeah. such a voice. So we're looking forward to working with him on yeah. Thunderball and others. Oh, but that'll be amazing. Yeah. He really likes the drama, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and also, there's a, a band who's also going to be playing with family links there as well. Mm, slightly. Uh, Fundamentals, who are fast becoming the function band to book, uh, performing everything from that. Abba through to Brian Adams, Lady Gaga, etc. But in this concert, they've chosen, as as I have, because I'm in it, and Rob's in it, um, they've chosen to perform, amongst others, a brilliant new arrangement by Rob for Band and, and them of Licence to Kill. <gasps> so Shay and Ellie are going to have fun, as is Nigel, at the percussionists as well, so it's going to be a real good night. Oh, yeah. do you know what? Being in bands themselves, the idea of being in a band with a brass behind you, because I assume it's sort of everyone joining in on that. Yes, it certainly is. Oh, that would be amazing to us. see. 30 of us. So, that's, so how, how many are in the, band, the town band itself? Th th there, is, 30, there are 30. 30 in the senior band. Yeah. 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 And how long yeah. has it been going for? It's got to be going for some time now. It's actually starting this next year. It's our 135th birthday. We were formed in 1887. And you don't look a day older. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but that's quite something, isn't it? 1887, you started. And when you think about it, although obviously the material that you're playing will have changed somewhat, I'm guessing that the sort of lineup of a town band in that respect probably hasn't changed that much. No, it hasn't. British brass bands have the same lineup they've had for centuries, since 1850s, really. Lots of instruments designed by Adolf Sax, who also designed the saxophone. And the whole thing is a lovely, homogenous sound. Works really well together. And what do you play in the band? Uh, I'm the MD. I'm the musical director, so I conduct, but I do play cornet, trumpet, everything imaginable, really. I was going to ask, because you're yeah. a proper multi-instrumentalist, aren't well, you? Well, yeah, I tried to be. <laughs> Jack of all trades, some would say. How long have you been involved with it yourself? <laughs> uh, 25 years as MD, uh, a bit longer as player as well, but yeah, so fun. I bet it is so much yeah. fun and moments like this as well. I assume you get, depending on what you're doing as your repertoire with these concert, you, for concerts, you probably get very different audience depending on what you're doing. You can do, yeah. I mean, you have the same sort of diehard group who turn up for everything. But uh, this has attracted different people already, I've seen from the ticket sales. So. Um, and we're going to do um, a night at the opera soon as well. So again, aiming at a different audience too. And Who course, chooses the repertoire then when you do these things? Me and Rob generally. Between yeah. us. But we do take suggestions from players as well. So if they've got a favourite piece, we'll try and slot it in if possible. And then you've got to arrange them, obviously, to make them fit. Some of them we arrange, some of them we buy. Um, but some of them just aren't available to buy, so we do have to arrange them ourselves. So, yeah. yeah. But it's a bit special this weekend because it's not just about the music, is it? You've got some other stuff on the go. Well, we hope that people are going to join in with the atmosphere of it all and dress as James Bond or the villains or Bond sidekicks, whatever. And there is a com competition for the best dressed. Oh. And also there's a great raffle prizes as well. So things like cocktail shakers, 007 aprons, license to kill... Recipe books, license to cook recipe books. Of course, I should say. Uh, and top of the range, of course, is the top prize: a trip around the TT course with champagne reception in an Aston Martin DB7. <gasps> That's so cool. Yeah, and the band will play you off as well. So whoever. Oh, you. Will, I take it you're not just allowing anyone to drive this thing, are you? No, no, no. they <laughs> will checking. be driven <laughs> by the owner, a guy called uh, Greg Wright, who's fantastic. Uh, helped us with this. Great, we're really 
thankful to him for providing his car. How so, exciting. Know, it's going to be brilliant. And whoever wins it, I hope they also have the kind of Bond type dress on I'm and sure attire. They will. So that they're really sort of living up to it. And he presumably is going to wear a tuxedo while he drives them around yes. or some sort of yes. suit of that yes. nature. Yes. yes. Oh, yes. what a wonderful sounding night I this know, is. It certainly is. Yeah. yeah. So you said you've got um, 30 odd members in the band then. How easy is it to encourage young people to get into to brass music at the moment? Um, there's an awful lot of uh, demands on young people's times. They're not just doing one thing these days. They're mm -hmm. doing sports. They're doing multiple other events as well. Um, and as a music teacher on the island, I find that you know getting them to practice isn't always the easiest thing. But uh, but there is interest uh, still for us and for other bands on the island. We have got a young group uh, coming through from age of, from about six upwards. Um, so there's future there for everybody. When you're six, do any of them choose euphoniums or the massive instruments they, to play? We had a lad who chose a tuba, <gasps> and he's playing in the con. He's now. Is it bigger than him? It is. It was. It's now sort of equal size as him, but he's he's been playing that since he was about six. So That's the one thing, isn't it? If you choose one of the big instruments, you've got to cart it round you with have. you. Or mum has. Or, or mum or dad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, this sounds like it's going to be a glorious it's event. Going to be a fantastic it really concert. does. So just remind us again where and when and how people can get tickets. It's at St Ninian's Church on Sunday at 7.30. Tickets are on sale on douglastownbands.org.im website. douglastownband.org.im But also in Morrison Photos on Books Road. Excellent. And I presume you've got some, you're probably going to be busy over Christmas again because it's nearly Christmas as well, isn't it? It is. We've, we, well, we start this Friday, the first Christmas thing for St. Thomas's School Fair, <gasps> School Christmas Fair. So that's our first event. Next week's the switching on of the lights for Douglas. We're playing for that. And also we've got our Jingle All The Way concert uh, at St. Indians again, which I think is the 14th of, oh no, 13th of December. Oh, keep us posted on that we'll one. Do. It we'll is do. the most wonderful time of the year after all, it isn't is. it? Absolutely. Almost.